Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing iPhone apps you probably never heard of but they're actually super cool and of course most of them are actually very useful as well. So let's get things started with Share Sheets. Now this is a really interesting app and it makes sharing your social, your phone number and all that stuff very very easy and of course getting someone's info very easy as well so this is basically the home page of the app where you will have your information so you can see i have my name here i have my instagram my twitter the phone number and i can add any other information i want here so let's say i want to add my email i tap right there enter the email right here and this of course will now just show right there on my card so whenever i want to share my information with someone all i have to do is just go here and they can scan this qr code and of course get all these information and have them saved on their app so once they have the information they will show right here under contacts under contacts here you will have all the different contacts that you have scanned here and of course got their information now what you can see here if i tap on one of my contacts in this case is the same one that i have added there i can just type any notes i want about this contact and of course i will have all the socials and everything regarding this contact but what's really cool is that if i have their instagram or their twitter here all I have to do is just tap that button and it takes me right to that page so I don't have to actually remember the username. I just tap here and it takes me right to their social. The next app for the video is called OneSearch. This app makes searching very, very easy. So if we want to search for something, let's say I want to search for iReviews right here. It will actually give me a ton of different options here from the most popular websites. Of course, I can search Wikipedia, maybe I wanna go to Google search or Reddit search. You can do anything from here. So all the major sites are here. If I wanna just tap on YouTube, it will open the YouTube app and do that search for me on the YouTube app. Just do this and you're good to go. You can see as easy as that, it will search right on YouTube. So it's very, very useful. Now, if you go here, we'll have the links, basically these big websites where you can search. But of course, you can add your own as well, add a custom link here, and then of course, you will be able to search on that website as well. Fast Chart is the next app for the video, and it's very useful, especially if you're someone maybe on school, or you're a student, and you need to create these like different charts. Creating them on a computer will require you to maybe use your computer or use the library's computer, but you can do that all on your iPhone. So all I have to do here is tab there. You can see I have this like pre-made chart and I can just go ahead and edit everything here. Of course, change the name, change the percentage right here, even change the color or change the way they look. So all you have to do is just enter the information you want here and you can just go ahead and actually create your own chart as easy as this. Once you're done, you tap the save button and you have this saved under your camera roll. So you will have a ton of like different modes here. So you can see you have the line chart, the bar chart, horizontal chart you can have like all kinds of different charts you can think of and just use them to create your own charts as easy as that with just a couple of clicks the next app for the video is called smart battery now this is a really interesting app what it does is that it takes the percentage of the battery of your iPhone and will show you here how much time you have for each of these things. And you will have to use the app for like a few hours maybe to actually start seeing here the numbers, but it will show you how many hours or minutes you can watch videos, listen to music, make calls or play games. Now it does the same here for the iPhone storage. It shows you the storage of your iPhone and with the free storage that you have, it will show you here how many like hours of music you can store on your iPhone or how many photos, how many hours of podcast or how many hours of video. Not just the app, it also has some really cool widgets for the home screen of your device where you can see again your storage, you can see your battery right here on the smaller ones. This one with the circles right there for the battery looks really cool. Then you will have these medium one here for the storage. You will have other ones as well. It has like more than 10 different widgets that you can add to your home screen and they look really really cool the next app for the video is called typo now this is a really cool app it will actually create a video for you just by you talking so if you have something that maybe you want to share on social media this is the app for you let me just show you guys how it works 
This is a test video. This is a test video. Now that we're done with that, tap the button here and you can see what it does create. As easy as this, you can have this video created for you simply by speaking here, saying anything you want. You can see how cool that looks. Now, once the video is created, of course, you tap the share button right here. And you will be able to save this under your camera roll and have a really cool video saved there simply by talking on your iPhone and having everything else done automatically. Now, when it comes to widgets, this is probably one of the best apps that you can get from the app store it's called quick and it actually has some really unique widgets for the home screen of your iphone you can see how cool these look now they just look cool they also work so if i let's say want to open shortcuts i can tap there and it will open the shortcuts app so they don't just stay there they actually work i can just go ahead and open twitter as easy as that and this one works as well so tap there open shortcuts again as easy as that now you can set them as transparent widgets which is really awesome to do that you simply tap and hold here the home screen go to the last page where you have nothing here take a screenshot and then go into the app and once you're here just go ahead and tap on transparent and load the screenshot you just took and then just choose here what widgets you want to add you go to large medium or small tap on add widget and you will have a ton of different options here now these widgets are not all of them free but you can actually unlock any widget you want simply by watching an ad so you can see how some really really cool widgets that you can add to the home screen of your device of course you will have a ton of different options to customize these any way you like and of course once you add them to your home screen just make sure you go to edit widget choose their position and of course enable transparent and you will have this nice transparent look which actually looks really cool. When it comes to widgets, this is a simple one, but I really like this widget. So it basically lets you add a countdown on the home screen of your device, and it's live, it will of course work all the time there. So this, this app is actually really simple. You go into the app, and all you have to do here is create a timer, basically a countdown for anything you want. You go to your settings, add the title there, the time when it will happen, and then you just go ahead and add the home screen widget this is what you will see a countdown of course you have hours minutes and seconds and just leave it there on the home screen to remind you of anything important that will happen in the future next up is pdf factory this is maybe the only pdf app that you will need on your device it has everything included it's like a toolbox for your pdfs now we're not going to go through all of these like features here but you will have edit pages you can merge pdfs multiple pdfs into one you can of course right here repair your pdfs like fix broken pdf files you will have the tools here to lock and unlock pdfs and of course scan pdfs as well and then you can even convert your pdfs like the text you can go ahead and convert also like text to pdfs or photos to pdfs as easy as this with this app of course it's not totally free it has some free features some of them will be paid but it's actually pretty cool and then right here you will have like general and then right here will have all the different generated files so basically everything that you've done there will be right here so if you did like convert text to pdf you can just find it here so you will have different folders for any of the conversions of or anything else that you did using this app the next app for the video is called single file safari now this is an extension for your safari browser what it allows you to do is that it allows you to completely save like a website download everything from a website so you tap the aa button of course you go ahead and enable the extension so when you go to manage extension you enable it right here and then you will be able to use it simply tap there and allow it right here and now you can actually use that so we can just go ahead and right here tap on the aa button and again run that so i did already did run it so we can tap on download and on our files app we will have the complete website here downloaded into our device locally so we just tap there you can open it on the files app or even if you use documents for example you can see right there you will have the full website downloaded into your device 
And last but not least is also another Safari extension. It is called Touch Me. Now, how many times you go into a website and while you're scrolling, you will have YouTube videos there that will start playing automatically. Well, this extension will actually stop that. So after you have installed the app, go to manage extensions, make sure you have that enabled. Now, what this app, this app actually does is that it disables the video from playing automatically, but you will still be able to actually play those videos. All you have to do is when you're interested on a video, just triple tap on the video and it will start playing. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.